Hello, I'm Katya with Social Ad Engine, and today I'll be going over a webinar about Social Ad Engine for Global Banker Agents. Let's get started. So here's what we know. As an agent, you're probably short on time, and you really need an easy way to advertise your listings to get more clients. In general, Facebook advertising can be really difficult because there's so much that you can do with it. And you absolutely want, want control over what you're advertising, as well as dedicated support should you have any questions or need assistance. With that in mind, in collaboration with Coldwell Banker and Facebook, we created Social Ad Engine. Now, Social Ad Engine is purpose-built for Coldwell Banker agents like yourselves and also admin users, so marketing managers and broker owners. Social Ad Engine allows you to create best practice Facebook and Instagram campaigns automatically with just a few clicks of a button. It's super simple to customize copy, photos, and campaign targeting, and you get a real-time report and seller report to track your campaign success. The minute you start a campaign, this reporting is generated and continuously updated. So with that all said, I'm just going to start out with a quick social ad engine demonstration. Switch gears here. So if you've never logged into social ad engine before, this is what it will appear like the first time that you log in. You'll see the terms and conditions, so you can go ahead and click and read those. And afterwards, once you click accept, go ahead and click enter. From there, you'll be prompted to connect your Facebook account, your business page. And this is a really simple onboarding that I will take you through just now. One important thing to call out is that right over here in the corner, there is this great little feedback widget. And as you're using Social Ad Engine, if you have any suggestions for what would make it even better for you as an agent or a marketing manager, definitely submit those there. Those are read by our internal team and definitely play a part when going into product requests in the future. So first things first, let's connect our business page. The first thing you're gonna do is be brought to this four-step onboarding process. It doesn't take but about five minutes to get started. First thing is to connect your business page. Now, if you don't have one, uh, there are some resources on your internet that you can search social ad engine to learn more about creating a business page. But if you do, you can go ahead and click this white Facebook logo. And any of the business pages that you're an admin of will appear in this pop-up box here. Now, if you're not already logged in to Facebook in another tab, it'll first prompt you to log into your Facebook account so that we can see the pages that you're an admin of. There'll also be an option here to create a page if you don't already have one created. And again, those resources on how to create a page and what to use it for are on your internet to kind of walk you through a business page. Or you can always reach out to our help desk, which I'll give the contact details for later in this webinar, for help when creating a business page. So we're going to connect to Jackie Klein's real estate. Once it's highlighted in blue, just go ahead and click continue, and you'll notice that that white Facebook logo turned blue. This means that your page is successfully connected. Now from here, you're just going to go ahead and click next, and the last thing that you'll need to do is accept the Lead AdWords Terms of Service on Facebook's behalf. So you'll be able to review those by clicking review, and that pop-up will appear with those Terms of Service from Facebook. Make sure that right here, the page selected is the one that you connected to Social Ad Engine in the previous step. After you've read through these terms and conditions and you're happy with them, go ahead and click Accept. From there, you're all done. Just click Finish and you'll be brought, brought back to your home screen. And from now on, every time you log into Social Ad Engine, this is kind of a snapshot of what you'll see. There's three main tabs, Overview, Campaigns, and Reporting. And on our overview tab is a quick look at any of the recent campaigns that you run, how many active for sale and residential listings you have available to create an ad campaign for, and an activity snapshot of the reporting of any campaigns you've done previously. So 
So that's just the overview page, gives you a little bit of information. But one of the more important tabs is this Campaigns tab. Now you have a couple different options with Social Ad Engine. We just released this brand new feature where you can promote yourself. So if you don't have an active for sale or residential listing, you're able to promote yourself or on behalf of your office. If you are an admin user or marketing manager, you'll notice this up here will look similar to your own Social Ad Engine account because when you go through the onboarding process, you have the option to bypass it, though I always recommend that you connect an office business page, as then you'll be able to use these Promote Yourself campaigns to promote on behalf of your office. Or if you'd like to promote on behalf of an agent, you can promote listings on behalf of an agent by using this dropdown to select which agent you want to promote on behalf of. So you have three options as an agent. You can promote yourself, you can promote your active for sale and residential listings, and you can promote other listings if you are a marketing manager or admin. You'll see all the listings associated with the offices you're associated with, and they'll be broken out by office. And you'll see here the address and then the agent associated with that address. So first, I'm just going to take you quickly through this new Promote Yourself option. So all of these um, campaigns look exactly like the listing campaigns when you're going through the creation steps. And you'll be able to edit everything in them. So you can edit the content. This one is a traffic campaign, so it's all about driving clicks to your website. You can edit headline, body text, link description to whatever fits you best. For the follow-up action URL, always make sure this is a secure link. That means that the link automatically starts with HTTPS. You're also able to edit your image variations. At Social Ad Engine, we're always A, B, C testing your images. So with each campaign, you pick three. So here, you'll also be able to upload your own image. Let's say you have a headshot that you'd like to upload or a photo of your office that you'd like to upload. This is a great feature here. And you'll soon be able to upload video as well. So there'll be a section here to upload your own video. Once you're happy with your image, you just click select. Your default targeting in a Promote Yourself campaign is a 25 mile radius around your office address. If you're associated with more than one office, you'll be able to select which one, or you can always choose cities. So this is just a quick snapshot of what the Promote Yourself campaigns look like. But I'm gonna go back to campaigns, and for the purpose of today's demo, I'm gonna promote 4026 Bald Eagle Street. So the first thing you wanna select is what you're trying to achieve. With Social Ad Engine, you have three options. I want to drive traffic to my listing webpage, I want to drive awareness of this listing, or I want to drive leads from Facebook and Instagram. For today's demo, let's drive leads. When you select Drive Leads, you'll want to open up this Lead Form Questions box. Automatically required is first name, last name, email, and phone number. But we always recommend including these extra questions to further qualify your leads and serve as a jumping off point for the first conversation you have with those leads. So all of them are pre-selected, but if one doesn't quite fit with what you're going for for this campaign, you can deselect. Once you're happy with this, just go ahead and close it back up. From there, you really want to edit your content. So all of this will be pulled in from what's associated with that this listing on the MLS. So if you don't want to make any edits, you can go ahead and promote as is. But if you have certain things you'd like to call out or make adjustments to the copy, each of these fields is editable. So if you wanted to say, come check out this listing instead of the listing address, you can absolutely do so. Again, when it comes to the follow-up action URL, make sure that you are using a secure link meaning it starts with HTTPS. From there, you want to select your images and media. You'll be able to upload video here if you have the video. And let's say I really want to call out this pool of this house. I can go ahead and select that image. 
and you'll notice that it updates in real time over here on the preview. And this gives you a snapshot of exactly what your ad will look like when you promote. From there, you want to edit your targeting. The default is a 25 mile radius around the listing address, or you can choose cities. You know the market better than we do. If there are certain cities you'd like to target, you can absolutely do so. The minimum radius is automatically 15 miles around a city, but if you'd like to increase it, you can go up to 49 miles. And if you have any questions, you can always download the Campaign Best Practices Guide and check out these little eye icons as they give tips and tricks as you're going through the campaign. Once you're happy with everything in step two, editing content, make sure you go ahead and click save content. You won't be able to move on to the payment step unless you do so. And this allows, if you need to come back to it later, everything is saved within your tool. So after clicking save content, I'm gonna head down to step two, budget, dates, and payment. Now the leads campaign starts at a $129 level and it runs for seven days. There are four price points, $69, $129, $229, and $349. And I will show you a chart and go into this a little deeper later in the webinar. Once you're happy with your budget, you can choose to publish now or publish later. If you'd like to publish later, just go ahead and click and a calendar will appear so you can select the date you'd like to publish. From there, just enter your payment details. Once again, accept those terms and conditions and click OK. Your listing is being generated. Now, if you want to maybe re-promote this listing with a different objective or go promote another campaign, you can click See All Listings and it'll take you back to that Campaigns tab so you can promote again. But today, I'm going to show you my favorite tab, and that's the Reporting tab. So the first thing about the reporting tab is you'll see a performance summary. It gives you a snapshot of all of your previous campaigns running, if you have any live campaigns, and a general stat, like the click-through rate. But let's look deeper into these campaign results. So for 4026 Bald Eagle Circle, we ran a lead gen campaign. It ran for seven days, and the status is now completed. For each campaign, you'll be able to open up a box just like this that gives you a snapshot of what your campaign achieved. So this campaign achieved 129 leads for a campaign cost per lead of $4.33 and campaign impressions, that's the number of times that your ad was shown on screen, over almost 6,000 times. Here you'll also be able to see what those different variations look like. This is exactly what your ad looks like on desktop newsfeed. You can also see what it looks like on mobile newsfeed, right column, and on Instagram, as each campaign is run across the Facebook family maps. If you need to make any specific edits in the midst of your campaign, you can pause your campaign, reach out to our help desk to make those edits, and then we will resume it on your behalf. And then my absolute favorite part is this download report feature. We generate a seller report for each of your campaigns, and this is perfect to share with your sellers. It gives them a snapshot of what you're doing on their behalf to showcase their listing. So for this one, your property was seen almost 16,000 times on Facebook and Instagram. It also gives you how many people saw your property ads. It's almost 6,000. The clicks to your property webpage and engagements, that's likes, shares, comments. And here's just a quick snapshot of Social Ad Engine and what it can do. But I'm going to dive back into the webinar content. So let's go over some Facebook advertising basics. Facebook advertising, there's a lot of common misconceptions. And one myth is that you don't need a business page to advertise on Facebook. This is false. You do need a business page to advertise on Facebook, and it's simple to create one and anyone can do it. Again, if you have any questions about doing so, you can reach out to our help desk or search on your internet, internet for additional resources in creating a business page. There's a difference between your business page and your personal profile. 
Your personal profile is for friends and family, and everyone has one, but your business page is for clients specifically, and they're created by businesses. Myth number two, you already advertise on Facebook because you post on your business page. Unfortunately, this is not true. Posting on your business page is likely to only reach less than 3% of your page fans. So if you've got 100 people that like your business page, less than 3% of them are going to see what you post. They're not considered a form of advertising, though I always recommend keeping your business page active in conjunction with advertising. So promote using social ad engine or creating ads within Facebook Business Manager, but then also post to your page. Keep it active, have it scroll across people's feed. Myth number three, boosting a post is as effective as other ads in driving business results. Unfortunately, this also is not true. Boosting a post is great if you want to drive likes, comments, and shares, if you want people to engage with what you're posting. But if you're looking to target actual home buyers, and if you're looking to have them take a specific action, like become a lead or direct to your website, boosting isn't as effective as running an advertisement. Now, at Social Ad Engine, we have objectives that drive meaningful results. And I went over these briefly within the demo, but here's a bit more. Awareness is there to showcase to sellers high visibility for your listings. You can think about this as a social billboard or park bench. The goal here is to reach as many eyes as possible. Traffic is to drive directly to your website. So the goal here is to get people to land on your website and explore from there. Maybe you have a contact form there that they can fill out. And finally, my favorite objective is leads. The goal here is to develop a contact list for follow-up and nurturing. I think of Facebook leads as prospects, and these objectives can help drive your meaningful results. So a little more about awareness. This is going to showcase to sellers really high visibility for your listings. So with this objective, the goal is to see as many eyes as possible. If I selected the default 25 mile radius, my ad would be served within this radius and the goal to see as many people as possible fit my home buying targeting objective. And this is kind of what your ad will look like. Now traffic, you notice that the ad looks much similar, but it's optimizing for a different objective. The goal here is you want to provide buyers with more property information, and maybe if you have a contact form on your website, you want them to get to land there. So once they click on your ad, they're going to go to this website or whatever you have there. Again, make sure it's an HTTPS website. And finally, generating leads. The goal is to develop that contact list to nurture and follow up with them. And you'll notice that the beginning of the app looks the same. But this is very different. It's an in-app experience. So once they click on the app, they'll be able to enter their contact information or answer any of those additional questions you choose to include, review their information, and they'll have to slide to submit. From there, they have the option to visit your website. Immediately after they slide to submit, your leads will be directly routed to you via lead router or email. And you should aim to increase the quality of your leads with those custom questions. How soon are you looking to purchase a home? How would you describe your interest level for this particular house? And are you currently pre-approved to buy a home? Are all important questions that are great for including within your campaign. Now with Social Ad Engine, we're leaving the optimization to Facebook. We work with the Facebook algorithm, serve across the entire family of apps, and make sure that we're hitting your buyers exactly where they are. People spend most of their time in feeds, and that's exactly where we're serving those ads. So you might be wondering how Facebook finds these home buyers. And the biggest thing is geo-targeting combined with optimization. So we target based on a radius around addresses or cities. 
so that 25 mile radius around the listing address, which is our default targeting. Let's say you use that. Within that circle, not everyone is going to be ready for a home or a home buyer at the moment. So our tool works alongside Facebook to find those potential home buyers and identify them. We're identifying them based on their likes and interests. Maybe they like the Zillow Facebook page or the Redfin Facebook page, their web behavior. Perhaps they've recently visited many real estate websites. Facebook and us know that, and so we're targeting those users. And other ad engagement. Users who click on other real estate ads are more likely to be served your ad as well. So those potential home buyers are identified through optimization. Now a little bit more into our packages. I went over this very briefly within our demonstration. The $69 level campaign it runs for five days and the awareness and traffic objectives are available at this level. $129 runs at seven days and the awareness traffic and leads objectives are available at this level. And it goes up from there. We determined these package price points based on our beta testing and going through and seeing what works the best. We did a lot of testing before rolling out social ad engine and these package prices performed the best. Now on the bottom here, you'll see expected results. This is absolutely the floor of what you can expect to see. I've seen $129 seven day campaigns with 50 leads. This is just the minimum. And finally, Social Ad Engine always has 24-7 support to answer your questions. So you can reach out to help at coldwellbanker.com or by phone 877-426-5393 to answer any of your questions and help you get started. Thank you so much for joining me for today's webinar and hope you have a great day.